What is going on, you guys? Brandon here, aka Barwadis. And Noor. And today we're gonna be trying Mexican snacks for the next 24 hours. I went to the market earlier today and I bought a bunch of different Mexican snacks that we have right here in front of us. We have a wide variety of snacks that we're gonna be trying in today's video. Noor, are you excited? Dude, I'm super excited. Everything here looks so good and I'm ready to get started. Look at all these snacks in front of us, bro. How could you not be excited to film today's video? I love Mexican candy, I love Mexican and snacks and to be quite honest i love latina girls so uh nor you're my special guest for today so i'll let you pick what we start with i want to start with my favorite snack which is the salsa getty look i'm not gonna lie there's some items on this counter that i haven't tried yet but these things right here i've tried these many 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 times and these are one of my favorite candies no matter if it's mexican candy american candy japanese candy it doesn't matter these are one of the best candies of all time no matter the culture you know what i mean oh i love the sauce that you put on it bro so first you have some spaghetti looking gummies. <laughs> then you have the, the salsa. <laughs> okay, it's more like, it's like a chamoy. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like a chamoy salsa. Chamoy something. There it is. <gasps> oh, shit. <gasps> Sexy <gasps> with the oh, shit. All right, guys, so the way you eat this, you're gonna pour your salsa chamoy thingy on it. Dude, this looks so freaking good. Make it real juicy and make it real messy. That's the only way to eat this. You gotta make it messy. Now, Nor, are you ready to try it? Okay, Nor, this was your choice. You said it was your favorite item in the video. So, let's try it. Wait, wait, wait I didn't say it. So, let's go, guys. Oh <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. This was literally the best invention. Usually I don't like starting food videos with a 10 out of 10 because you never know if you can get something better later on. But I'm just gonna start it with a 10. This salsa getty is a 10 out of 10. Like I said, one of the best candies in the world. This is a 10 out of 10. Muy delicioso. All right, guys, so it's my turn to choose what snack we try next, and I gotta go with the Duvalin. Bro, am I saying that right? Okay, I genuinely don't know if I'm saying this right, so correct me if I'm wrong, but Duvalin, Duvalin. I haven't tried these yet, but my dad owns a little store. He owns a little market, and when I was younger, I used to always go there to help him out at the store. Customers used to always buy these. These were one of his best-selling products, so I'm really excited to try it because they must be really popular. Nor, do you want the hazelnut flavor or the strawberry? What do you want, though? You pick. Which one brings your childhood memories back? Well, I've never tried it, but what people used to buy more is both. So you take the strawberry, I'll, I'll take the freaking hazelnut. This is good. Whoa. This looks like melted chocolate. Whoa! Do you see the difference? What are you doing? Mm. Bro, look at the back. It's like a half half chocolate, half vanilla. I don't know. Is it like a pudding door? It's like melted chocolate. Um, guys, I don't... How the fuck do you open this? <laughs> and on the bright side, it comes with a spoon in the box, so you don't have to spend money buying a spoon. <laughs> okay, how do you open this, though? So nobody told us you had to have a PhD in, in fucking engineering to open this uh, Duvalin, but <laughs> dude, how do you open this? Okay, so before we rate the taste and the flavor, I want to rate the experience of opening this thing and I give it a zero out of 10. Guys, look, I'm literally just squeezing it out of the pocket. <laughs> Wait, hold on, it's hold like, on. It's like ketchup. Okay, so we weren't able to get it open the right way, so how are you doing it? <laughs> so Nora's just squeezing it out. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the same. Okay, so I guess I just, Oh my God, look. All right, so I guess we're trying it this way because uh, two jackasses couldn't figure out how to open this snack, but let's try it. Duvalin, popular snack, cheers. Mine tastes like Nutella, but better. Dude, this tastes so good. Mmm, bro, that's actually really bomb. Mmm. It's very rich, right? Yeah, I it's not like creamy. It's like kind of hard textured, but rich. But it's really good. It's like putting chocolate in the fridge. Like it's like, yeah, it's kind of hard. Yeah, I would compare it to Nutella, but better tasting. I'll give this like a nine of 10, bro. This is fire. I give this an eight. An eight? Okay, Nora, your pick. What are we trying next? Well, everything looks good, but this caught my eye because it's pink. So Nora chose the sponge. 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 Is that how you say it? I feel like I'm pronouncing these wrong and I'm gonna get roasted in the comments, but literally read it. 
Sponge. It's like sponge when you do the dishes, but with a CH. We get it. Okay. Oh my gosh, marshmallow cookies with coconut and strawberry. This might be the best tasting thing in the video. I don't know, I've never tried it, but just judging off the description. Look at the cookies, get a close up. It literally says sponge on the cookies and look at it here, bro. Coconut flakes on top with marshmallow strawberry filling in the middle. Dude, we gotta try it, Nora. Let's try it now. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, this is so good. It's so many different flavors in one. It's weird. It's like crunchy because of the coconut flakes and the biscuit on the back. But it's also like soft and creamy because of the strawberry and the marshmallow. Like Dude, it's so many different flavors hitting your mouth, mm. but it combines so well. You know, sometimes you eat something and the flavors throw it off. Like it tastes too much of this, too much of that. This with the strawberry, the coconut, the marshmallow, the biscuit, they combine so well. This is freaking fire. Noor. Why did we not know about this when we were younger? Who was gatekeeping sponge from us? Why am I finding this out when I'm 28 years old, bro? This is fire. I would have been eating this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I don't care what nobody says. This is a 10, bro. This is, it's not 10. 10 out of 10. I don't know if Mexican snacks are just that good, but we've rated everything super high. Usually in our food videos, there's something where we're like, uh, three out of 10, two out of 10. But so far, every Mexican snack we've tried has been fire. Viva Mexico! Look at me, I'm in the spirit, bro. Nor, my turn to pick. Okay, my pick, like I said, Papa Rog used to own a store when I was younger. This was another very, very popular item that I used to see all the kids grab. I, I never saw it in a big box like this. I used to see them Wow. Just oh like I used to see <laughs> I used to see people buy them just like this. Fuck. Whoa, that was a good burp. <laughs> Freak. No, are you ever gonna help me with a video again? Dude. Just come on. Dude. Just come on. So guys, I've never tried this, but like I said, I used to see everyone buy it, I think. Yo, you see these everywhere, like every time we go to like the fruteria, like everywhere you see it. I never tried it because it's like bread. That's what I always thought. I'm like, how could bread be that good? I don't think it's... It is, it's like fun, right? I think it's like peanut butter. Like so, so <gasps> oh my gosh, Wait, it fell rumble? apart. Never tried it, but it smells like peanut butter or peanut, something, something peanut. It's called mazapan. Does that mean peanut in Spanish or am I stupid? I don't know, I thought pan meant bread. Okay, let's try it guys. Mmm. 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 It's like flavored sand. Mmm. No, like good flavored sand. Oh, it's stuck in my teeth. Stop. Wow. Wow. Nor. Aside from the fact that I need to like gargle with water or something because it's all stuck in my teeth. Okay, aside from the fact that it's really messy and it was literally falling all over. Oh my god, I stepped all over it on the floor. Like, I need my dog to come so be on vacuum mode and come clean this up with his mouth. Booker! He's lying. He's lying. No, I'm not. Here's the damage done on the floor. Nora, how do you eat it? <laughs> and there's also a little mess right here. But like I said, if you're not an idiot like me and Nora, you could probably figure out a correct way to eat this without being so messy. But I don't know how, but... Nora, yours literally turned into sand. It's still good, though. Very. The taste is very good. It's amazing. The only complaint I have is that it's very... Like, any type of touch, look, it just... It just breaks apart. It's very messy. It's very, very messy. But if you're not an idiot like me and Nora, you could probably figure out a way to eat it correctly and not be messy. Okay, guys, this is what I mean by it like breaks apart really easily. Like, look, just when I like hold it and stuff, it like, it literally just breaks apart. Like, look, I'm gonna try to grab this one out. And look, it just crumbles apart. So it's very, very messy, but it, oh my God. It's very, very messy, but it tastes very good. Mmm, 10 out of 10 flavor. Shout out to today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. Underdog is the easiest place to play fantasy sports, and I'm here to tell you guys about my favorite feature about Underdog, which is their pick'em game. Check this out, guys. Underdog's pick'em game is so simple, it's so fun. All you do is scroll through, you find your favorite players, you pick if you think they're gonna go higher or lower on their stat totals for the game. You can make picks on stats such as points, rebounds, assists, and if you make your picks correctly, you guys will all win big money. How easy is that, bro? My favorite part about Underdog 
Wilds pick'em game is when you make these higher or lower picks, it just makes you so much more interested in the game. It makes watching the sports so much more fun. You know what I mean? Now to get into today's special from Underdog Fantasy, bro, this special is going to blow your guys' mind. This is pretty much like Underdog giving you guys free money. Check this out. If Nikola Jokic scores just one point, yes, that's right. If Jokic scores just one single point in his next game, you guys will all be winners, bro. How crazy is that? This is why I rock with Underdog Fantasy because you will not find specials like that anywhere else. Underdog is available in 40 different states plus all of Canada. Look at the map right now to see if you're eligible to sign up. You guys can all sign up for Underdog Fantasy by clicking the link in my description down below or scan this QR code that you see right now on your screen. And on top of everything, guys, if you use my promo code, BROWADIS, Underdog will deposit match your first $100. What are you guys waiting for? Link in my description. Shout out to Underdog Fantasy. Now back to today's video. Let's go, guys. We have Haritos. Noor, what flavor do you want to try? Lime, mandarin, or tamarind? What I'm going to try the OG. I think this is the OG. That's my mom's favorite. Okay, yeah. That's literally my mom's favorite. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the orange. I hope you don't need a bottle opener for these, but we're about to find out. Ah! Shit. Whoa, we need a bottle opener. Oh. What the f is that? That's not a bottle opener. Sort of. What? Dude. I'm not gonna lie, I've tried this before. Growing up, Mama Rug and Papa Rug always had these at my house, so these are fire. I know that. Have you tried it? But never this flavor. You've never tried that flavor? No. Okay, cheers. Yum. Oh, wow. Imagine orange soda, but more fruity. Not as like yeah, not as harsh, you know? Dude, and what I like about it is this is a natural flavor. Like, usually you get the artificial mm -hmm. taste. Like, this actually tastes like tamarind. Like, it actually tastes like it. Any Mexican soda in the glass just tastes way more fire than the American soda. Like Mexican Coke. Me exactly, like Mexican Coke. Everyone knows Mexican Coke is way more fire than the Coke we have here in America. So, these 10 out of 10 soda. And it's so fizzy. I love it. All right, Nora. Next thing I want to try, since the sponge was so good, I feel like... Gancito is in the same category. Like, I've never tried this before, but it just looks like it came in the same packaging as a sponge. It's not like a candy, it's more of a pastry. So if we were so in love with the sponge, this might hit the same, you know what I mean? So what the Gancito is, it says filled cookies. If you look inside, I'm not too sure what it's filled with, but it looks fire. It's not filled with marshmallow and strawberry? Marshmallow and strawberry, that is what it looks like. The sponge was so good. I hope this replicates that flavor. Yum. Oh my god, and there's chocolate and sprinkles. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, look at this. Guys, it looks like a little chocolate Oreo with some sprinkles on top. It looks like a chunky Thin Mint. It does look like an overweight Thin Mint. <laughs> Cheers. Whoa. I thought it was going to be soft, but it's kind of hard. I don't like it. You don't like it? It's hard. I did think it was going to be soft. The cracker, biscuit, whatever is on both sides. And there's only like such a thin layer of filling. It's like an Oreo. The feeling felt like you were going to bite into something soft. Mm -hmm. And then you get hit with the crackers. So guys, the inside, there's a lot of biscuit, a lot of cracker. That's what makes it kind of hard and kind of dry. But Nora, I don't think we can give this a bad rating. You know why? We were eating it wrong. When I got all these snacks, someone at the Mexican market told me that the gancito, you have to put it in the fridge or the freezer. You have to eat it cold. Me being the idiot that I am, brought all the snacks here and I forgot to put it in the fridge. And so we ate these wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong guys, I don't know. But do you guys enjoy the gancito cold or do you guys eat at room temperature? Cause the worker at the market told me you have to try these from the fridge or freezer. So Nor, I don't think it's fair to give it a rating when we try it at room temperature. Me on the other hand, I'm gonna give it a five because I did expect it. Like it looks like it's so filled with marshmallow and I bit into it so hard and I almost lost a tooth. So I don't know. I feel like putting it in the freezer is just gonna make it harder. I'm gonna give it a five. It wasn't bad, but not my favorite. Guys, if you've tried Gansito, let me know if you guys like it cold or if you guys eat it room temperature. All right, Nora, what's next on your list? The next thing I wanna try are these um, dry roasted crunchy peanuts. Dude, Nor, I got two big tubs of these just because, look, I've never tried these before, but they just look so fire. I know we would each need our own. I got us two huge freaking tubs. They're all different flavors. They're the Limon Chamoy Fuego Spicy and Original Japanese Style. Bro, we need to try these, Nor. The reason I'm so excited to try these nuts is because... 
everything we've had in the video so far has been very dessert, pastry, sweet, candy, chocolate. These nuts are the first like a uh, <laughs> salty thing that we're having. Okay, pause. D dude. So here's what the tub looks like. It's a mix of all the different flavored nuts. Now take a look at the inside, bro. They kind of look like mini potatoes, like red and yellow potatoes. But these are what the nuts look like. Arab Arley. Mmm. Oh my god, wait. It's like a peanut covered in a hard shell. And the hard shell is where all the flavor comes from. Yum. Wow. I feel like these are just something you could snack on like while you're driving. You just snack on these or maybe like while you're playing video games, you just have these in a plate on the side. You know what I feel like these nuts are? These are the types of things that you could eat like a hundred of them and you don't even notice. You'll eat like a hundred and then be like, wait, oh my gosh, did I just eat this many? Like they're just so addicting to grab and eat, grab and eat, grab and eat. Mm. Oh Fire. God. Dude, these are amazing. Like, this is like the perfect salty snack. Wait, all of them together. All the flavors together. It's called flavor explosion for a reason. <laughs> Bomb? Yum. I want to try this. The classic. The freaking classic. I feel like everyone has tried this. Whether you're Mexican or not, everybody has tried this. Um, I'm taking this. Pelon. Pelon. The thing that comes out like, when you squeeze it. Pelon? Pelon. It's called Pelon. Hey, shout out to Pelon from Fuerza Ready. <laughs> That's my guy. Yeah, we're ready to kill it. Bro, thank you for coming, bro. Appreciate yeah, it, man. Yeah. That guy's crazy. I'll never forget when I went to the concert and he took me on stage. That guy forced me to take so many tequila shots. I kid you not, I couldn't walk out of that concert i was literally wobbling we're going on the stage bro it is packed it's packed On stage at the concert, JOP performing, Pelon's on the side like, hey, Bruan, it's coming here, shot, shot. By the time I left that concert, I don't remember a single thing. I was literally falling over, and I'm like, bro, Pelon, you are a crazy mother... If you're watching this video, you're crazy. And him, I don't know how, he took the same amount of shots as me, if not more, and he was walking all normal like a champ. Papa Rug! It's a Papa Rug! It's a Papa Rug, baby! Hey, I guess that's just his Mexican side. He can handle his freaking tequila way better than I can. Shout out to Pelon. That's what this is called. Pelon. It so. means hair. So this is like the hair. Oh! <laughs> it's so hard to press, but hold on. Okay, it's so hard to press. I feel like you need to be a bodybuilder weightlifter to actually push this. Oh my this. god, oh my god. I'm holding like all my weight on it. Nor, I would offer you help opening it, but I weigh 140 pounds. I would and never ask you for help. I've never lifted a weight in my life, so it's time to try some ah! hair. Real. Okay, I'm trying it, bro. This is the most we could get out. Wow. It's a classic tamarindo taste too. Mm -hmm. The pelon candy literally tastes like this drink, but more thicker. This is amazing. How is every Mexican snack a 10 out of 10? Who invented these things, bro? Like, oh my shit. Dude. I for sure have a disease, bro. I eat everything and anything, no matter what it touches. They're so f***ing good, bro. What, the nuts? The nuts? I'm okay. taking that. Go ahead, you can have one. I got it for you. You just gotta pay me, I'm joking. Ah. <laughs> We got the freaking polparindo. Polparindo. Okay, there's two. There's the extra spicy and there's the regular. Knowing you, I'll take the regular. You're so weak, bro. You are so weak. If we're trying Mexican candy, we're gonna embrace the Mexican culture and we're gonna go spicy. You know what I mean? So I don't know what the heck polparindo is. Oh, it looks like a fruit by the foot. No, it's not focusing. That's the problem. Fuck this camera. What I'm putting so guys, here's what it looks like. To me, it, it looks like a Mexican fruit by the foot. Like a spicy fruit roll-up. Ready, Nor? Let's try it. 
It literally tastes like a spicy fruit by the foot. No, the consistency of it is literally like... The hair. Yeah. The hair candy, but like mushed together. Yeah. Well, the spicy one is so fire. It's not even that spicy, but it adds a little kick that makes it 10 times better than the original. I was gonna say this is spicy. You think the original is spicy? What? Even the spicy one isn't spicy. You have negative spice tolerance. Thank you. You're very welcome. Try this. No. Okay. All right, guys, we only have a few more items left. I'm not gonna lie, bro. My stomach is starting to hurt a little bit. I think it's all the spices and like just all the, all the, everything, bro. My stomach is starting to hurt, but we got three more items, so we're gonna do these last three items. We have, see? I think I just cracked 90% of the lollipops that were in the thing, but anyways. Guys, this is a freaking classic. If you've never tried this, then you've been living under a rock. No, don't tell me you've never tried this. No, I have. It's a watermelon covered in chili. Bro, it's just a watermelon shape covered in chili. And I've had a million of these in my life. One of my favorite candies. I love it. I don't even have to try it to give it a rating. 10 out of 10. Oh. One of my favorite things about this lollipop is that, you know, regular lollipops, you have to keep licking it before you could bite into it. But these ones, even if you want to bite into it first, first bite, you could do it, or you could keep licking it, you could bite it. This is so good, it's sweet, it's sour. The more you lick it, it just gets better and better, because in the beginning you have like the spicy chili taste, but then when that comes off, you have the sweet watermelon taste. Bro, you know what? You know what, Nor? I know to start the video, we said the salsa getty was the best item, but I think this lollipop might take the crown. I love this, bro. I can see myself just driving and having this in my mouth. Mmm. Okay, the only bad thing I'd say about that lollipop, if I have to give it one critique, is that if you eat too many of those, you start getting, you know the bumps in your mouth, the canker sores? You start getting those because the lollipop <laughs> is so like, uh... Two more items left. Do you want to try the Peloton or the Lucas suckers that you dip in the powder? The Lucas suckers that you dip in the powder. All right, you open that and then, Oh my God! Sun's colors! Orange and purple, oh, go Suns! As if it wasn't planned out like this. The Suns won today. They beat the Pelicans. Booker scored 52. Oh, I'll All give this you. and they still won't make it to the playoffs. They are going to make it to the playoffs, you idiot. If you tell me how many points Devin Booker scored today, then I'll give you all the Mexican candy. 36. How many? 36. Dude, are you dumb? I just said it on camera three seconds ago. I like 52. Do you just tune out when I talk about the Suns? <laughs> El Cousin. Anyways, you open the Lucas. Wait, we're going to try two different ones? Yeah, let's speed this video up, bro. I feel like people are getting tired of us. Okay, mango. Can leave a know? comment if you hate me and Nord together. I'm gonna try this. I don't know what the hell this is. Some sort of lollipop. Freak. Dude, dude, can I open anything in this video? Chubba boy. <laughs> <laughs> dude, if it was up to me, I would create my own language where it's still English. You still talk in English, but you only do it with burps. Ask me a question. No. Just say how many points did Booker score today? Did how Booker... many championships did the Suns have? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not funny. We're gonna win one this year. No, oh, that's what he says every year. Hey. How many points did Booker score today? 52. <laughs> Dude, you idiot. Sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Does anyone else make themselves laugh? Oh my God, what the heck is this? This is a, someone's head. Okay, so this is like a lollipop, but it's chocolate. <laughs> Bro, it's covering your head for- Dude, stop. is it really covering my head? Yeah. So there's powder in here that I spilt everywhere, and there's a lollipop, and you flick it, and you dip it in. Okay, I'm gonna try this chocolate head. Oh my God, it's so soft. <coughs> Dude, what's going on? <coughs> Dude, someone call 911! She's joking! My cousin's joking! <laughs> I used to always say what would happen if, no. I used to always say what would happen if you pass away, but I didn't mean it like this fast. Not when you're 20. Bro, you'd be so happy you'd get a video out of it. I would get a video out of it, but at least wait like one more year. I'm not ready to let you go now. Zero. Zero. <laughs> zero. The first zero of the video. No, I know I always joke about you passing away, but I didn't think it would happen in a eating a Mexican snacks video. That one's bomb, right? Chocolate marshmallow. <laughs> Gonna have chamois seasoning in my throat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Guys, we gotta close the video out.
I would do this video all over again if it was up to me. I loved every single Mexican snack. Every single snack we tried in today's video was muy sabrosa. You know what I mean? Every Mexican candy, Mexican pastry, every single Mexican snack that we tried in today's video had a high rating. And if you guys watch my food videos, that's not usual. There's always a couple items that we rank very, very low. So hey, Mexico, 10 out of 10 job. All your snacks were very, very, very enjoyable. And I love doing today's video. So shout out, hey, Shout out to all the Hispanics that watch my videos. I know there's a lot of you guys out there and it's always been nothing but love. I know a large portion of my fan base is Hispanic and I always see you guys showing so much love in my comment section and I really, really appreciate it. I always notice the Latin community showing me and my brothers so much freaking love all the time and that same love goes from me to you guys. So thank you guys always for the support. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys for all the support that you show me. It's always love from me to all my Hispanic followers out there. You know what? If you're Hispanic, drop a like on this video right now. You me a favor all you hispanics out there watching this video i want to see you guys in the comment section down below i want to see how strong you guys are all you hispanics out there watching comment um comment viva mexico viva mexico in the comment section down below spam it you guys already know what to do i love all you guys watching this video other than that it has been your boy brandon aka barwadis and Noor. and we're out peace